Hello everyone, let's solve another equation for the regular expression using the identities. So, here we see that the right hand side part is bigger, so we will try to bring the right hand side from the left hand side. So, the right hand side part contains epsilon plus 1 star, then 0, 1, 1 and its closer. And then after this, 1 star and 0, 1, 1 its closer followed by the closer of everything. Now, if you see one thing that this part and this part is same. So we can consider that let one star and zero one one star is equal to, let's say a regular expression R. So we can rewrite the right hand side part as epsilon plus R and R star. Meaning of this is epsilon plus R positive closer. In the positive closer, if I include epsilon also, this becomes R closer. So it means the right hand side part is R closer and I can write it as 1 star 0 1 1 and its closer and the closer of everything. Fine. But this actually is not equal to the right hand side part. Right hand side mein part is like part is different, part is different, then it's the whole closer. So we have an identity that says R plus S ka complete closer, this is equal to R closer and S closer and then it's, it's complete closer. So this identity is already here. So we can bring this from here. Let's say this part is our P. है. Let's say this part is our Q. है. Means P is equal to let's say 1. Q is equal to let's say 0, 1, 1. So we can say that this quantity looks like as P star and Q star and its closer which can be written as P plus Q and the entire closer. Now here we have the value of P is 1 and Q is value of 0, 1, 1 and it's closer. So this is same as what is written on the left hand side. Hence we can say that we have proved the given equation of regular expressions. So thanks for watching this video. I think that you have got an insight that how can this kind of the problems be solved.